be very free. Hi all, welcome back to my channel. And before we get started, I want to say something. I know I posted a video yesterday, which was my first video, which by the way, you should go check out. I'll leave it at the end of this video and also linked in the description below. And I know I just posted a video that was like my channel trailer that I just made because I wanted to get done customizing my channel. And also if you actually click on my account, I did make a channel, a channel, channel art, um, which is above with my name on it. So I've been just customizing my channel all day today. And I decided that even though I did already post a video yesterday and today that I was going to do a video with actual content because those videos I wouldn't consider content, just like an introduction per se. So I decided that I was going to still make a video with content for today. And if I can't get the video done by Friday, which is today, by the end of today for at 6 o'clock, which is when I normally post videos, Friday or Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or and if I can't get the video done by Saturday, 6 p.m., that I could just save this video and post it next week, which would be nice because that way I don't have to film a video next week. Um, I can just finish editing it and then uploading it, although I do love to film and make videos. Editing is more my favorite part, and sometimes I'm not always in the mood to film videos, so that will actually be nice if I don't end up posting it. So this might be posted the week or a day from now from when I filmed it, or it might be posted a week from now. So it may be recent or not so recent. Anyway, in today's video, I decided I actually didn't really have an idea of what kind of video I wanted to make, which is why I considered just waiting till next week and filming tomorrow, filming a video to post next week. Um, I was going to film a video tomorrow and then save that video for next week, but I decided to um, film a video when I came up with the idea to share with some of you guys some of the music and some of the songs on my Spotify playlists. Um, I love listening to music and I listen to a whole bunch of different artists like Taylor Swift, Billie Eilish, um, and more. <laughs> I love how I listed two. Um, I can't really think of any off the top of my head, but those are just some I really like to listen to. Um, also, Two Feet is an artist I really like. You guys probably don't know who he is. If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I can't actually play any of these songs for you because of copyright reasons, but I can tell you the songs and I can tell you what the songs are called and suggest that you check them out. Um, and suggest that you check them out. So I guess we should get right into this. So the first song that is on my playlist that I recommend to you is Taylor Swift Lover from the Taylor Swift Lover album. I listen to a lot of the songs on that album, but my favorite song is the Lover song. It's the first one, it's the song that's inspired off of the album, and it's a really good song about your lover, basically. It's a really good song, and I also love the album cover because it has like pink clouds and like a glittery name. It just fits my aesthetic. There's also a remix of this song, which is um, with Shawn Mendes in it, which I think I might like more than the original because I think Shawn Mendes, excuse me, I think Shawn Mendes is the voice of Shawn Mendes. I didn't really know how to make his name sound plural nicely, um, if that makes any sense. But the voice of Shawn Mendes, I think, is a very big, nice voice, and I think that he, I think he has a very nice voice, and I think that it added something really good to the song. So yeah, I recommend that you check that song out. The next song is a brand new song that actually came out yesterday and I've been listening to it all day today and that is Therefore I Am by Billie Eilish. Now I love all of Billie's songs. I always, always listen to them. I think that they're so, so good and I just, I love them. Like they're, you wouldn't think, like I'm a girly girl, I'm a prep preppy person, so you wouldn't normally think that I would like to listen to Billie Eilish, but I actually love Billie Eilish and I really like to listen to all of her songs. And Therefore I Am is no exception. It's a really good song and I recommend a lot that you Billie Eilish fans, even if you don't think you're going to like it, still listen to it because I think it's a really, really good song. 
The next one is also a Billie Eilish song, and it's Billie Eilish, You Should See Me in a Crown. This is the When We Will Fall Asleep, I think it's called, the When We Will Fall Asleep album. And I like almost all of the songs in that album, but one of my favorites is You Should See Me in a Crown. The lyrics kind of remind me of Harley Quinn a little bit, like in the Birds of Prey movie. I don't know why, but it always made me think of like Harley Quinn and like, you should see me in a crown. I think the lyrics are just so nice and I think the lyrics sound even better when she sings it. So that's a song I recommend that you check out as well. The next song or songs, this one's more of songs, is the entire Birds of Prey soundtrack. If you guys don't know what Birds of Prey is, it's a movie that came out this year on February 8th, at least it came out February 8th in America, and it is a movie starring the amazing Margot Robbie, I love Margot Robbie so much, um, as Harley Quinn, and if you guys don't know, she first appeared as Harley Quinn in Suicide Squad, but she was so good as Harley that she got a second movie, and she will be playing Harley Quinn in The Suicide Squad, which is a remake of Suicide Squad in 2021, so I can't wait to see that movie as well, and I think maybe I'll react to the trailer. I have seen the trailer in DC Fandom, but I haven't, like, really seen it in full, so maybe I'll do a video reacting to it, and maybe I'll do a video where I give my thoughts on the movie so if, when it comes out. So if you guys want to see that, it comes out August 2021, so it'll be a while, but if you guys want to see that, let me know. I would love to do a video on that. But the Birds of Prey soundtrack is the songs that were in the Birds of Prey movie. And in Birds of Prey, Harley Quinn broke up with the Joker and Kathy, Yan, and Margot Robbie asked a bunch of artists because Margot Robbie also produced this movie not only starred in it, but produced it. And they asked a bunch of artists to write songs for this movie. And the soundtrack is amazing. It is so good. All the songs are so Harley and it fits the movie so well. And jokes on you. My sister just walked by. <laughs> wow. Anyway, I'll probably get that in the video anyway. Anyways, Jokes on You by Charlotte Lawrence is actually one of my favorite songs from that soundtrack. I just think it's one of my favorite songs and it was from one of my favorite scenes where she blows up Ace Chemicals. So good, recommend the movie and the soundtrack even more. The next song is a little bit more country than some of the other songs. This one is um, Forever After All by Luke Combs. I love this song. It's so nice. It makes me think of like a wedding almost. It sounds like a wedding song to me and it's such a good song. I don't really know what it's about though. It's obviously about like, you know, someone loving someone obviously, but I don't really know for sure what the song is actually about. That's still up for debate but a good song, I recommend you check it out. This next one is kind of an old song, but it's, well, it's more of the album, the Reputation album by Taylor Swift. I know there's like weird conspiracy theories surrounding that album, but I love all the songs in that album. And even though it's pretty old, I never really listened to it when it came out. Um, Cause I did, when I, it came out when I was like a kid because Taylor Swift became famous when she was like 14 and I was like literally a kid when she became famous. So yeah, she was like my age when she became famous. So I didn't really listen to songs by albums when Reputation came out. I was, how old was I? I don't even know. Um, case in point, I didn't listen to it a lot when it first came out because I don't really think I knew or cared to be honest. But um, I listen to it now. I love all the songs. I think they're all super duper cool. So I recommend that you check them out. My personal favorite is Are You Ready For It, which I just love the beat of the song. The next song I recommend to you lovely little bitches out there. <laughs> the next song I recommend to you is Mad Hatter by Melanie, Martin Melanie Martinez. Now I love Melanie Martinez. I love her music. I love all of her songs. But Mad Hatter is one of my personal favorite ones because it, I don't know if you know, but Alice in Wonderland is one of my favorite Disney movies and it's one of my favorite stories in general and I love the Disney movie the live action and the cartoon I just love Alice in Wonderland and that song is based off of the live action Alice in Wonderland the first one that was directed by Tim Burton love Tim Burton and um I love that it was based off Alice in Wonderland 
and it's such a good song the lyrics are so good and i love the beat it's so like grungy but like not i guess <laughs> i don't really know how to describe it but i totally recommend that you check it out that i recommend to you is a little bit of a lesser known song i think from a lesser known artist if you've heard of this artist before let me know the next song is is it just me by emily burns this is a song about someone i think who finds out that her boyfriend like her boyfriend broke up with her and she's still going through a breakup um, I'm pretty sure that's what it's about. The album cover is also really cool. It's I think it's supposed to be her as a kid, and I'm assuming I I hadn't heard of her before till this song just like came up in my Spotify recommended. So I'm assuming it's supposed to be her as a kid because she had pink hair when I clicked on her account. So it's a pretty good but it's a pretty good song, and I recommend that you check it out. It's a good breakup song to listen to. Um, and just a nice sad song with a good beat. So I really recommend that you try that song out. I remember it now. I had like a list and I had to like find it because I wrote, I know that it was like a last minute ad so I had to like look around to find it, but I found it. <laughs> so the next song, well songs, are by Halsey. If you don't know who Halsey is, she's a young artist who I think um, has been famous for that long, but I love her voice. Um, is This one is an album that I recommend. It's the Badlands album. And I recommend that you try all of the songs from that album. All the songs are really, really good. And I think they're so apocalyptic. And I really, really like it. I recommend that you try all of Halsey's songs, actually. But that's just one of them. Another one is the song called Sorry. I forget what the album is called. I forget what the album is called. But it's not like the red background. It's just called Sorry by Halsey. But I completely forget what the album is called. I had it memorized for this video. But I completely forget what it's called. <laughs> Great YouTube skills. I know. So we try that out as well. And I think that is it. I think that's all the songs that I have to recommend to you guys. I hope you guys can find your new favorite song with some of these songs that I recommended. And maybe even your new favorite song will come recommended while you're searching for these songs. So hopefully I helped you with that. Um, and as always, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you know whenever I upload a new video. I upload videos or try to upload videos every fr every Friday or Saturday, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And of course, and of course, if you want to see more from me, be sure to follow me on my socials. Be sure to follow me on my socials. They will be linked in the description below. They're also linked on my channel banner. They'll also be linked there as well, so you should follow me on my Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. They will all be linked in the description below. They will all be linked in the description below. And you should actually check out my last video, which is going to be popping up right here, um, where I did my very first YouTube video and I introduced myself by answering some popular interview questions. Um, and don't get used to me posting two videos in a row, that was just like the, my first video so this is going to be off schedule for this week but next week we're going to be on schedule so but next week we're going to be back on schedule with posting videos with posting videos and i think that's all i wanted to say to you lovely lovely people and i love you all so so much and hopefully i will see you again soon